on my hand You in my arms Here we are at Death Mountain Trail, and oh boy, we got some enemies. I mean, I guess I should expect as much. It's called Death Mountain. Hello! Uh, slice away, Link. Bam. Alright, yeah, so these are the little spider dudes we're dealing with here. Oh god. The jump attack's a little tough when they're also jumping at us. Jump back, Link. Yeah. Slice! Look at that! Oh, because the, the jump attack does two damage, which is all their health gone. I suppose I should equip something here, right? I don't have anything else. I use my quest item on the guard and don't have Zelda's letter anymore. I guess he kept it or something. Alright, there's a giant boulder here in the way. Dodongo's Cavern, don't enter without permission. Okay. Whoa, uh, hello! This is a Goron. He's a rock man. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance of the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor uses magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. That's right, we're actually just approaching it now. So yeah, Ganondorf strikes again, sealing the entrance to their important Dodongo's Cavern and presumably having some influence on the rise of Dodongo's in there, period. Although the name of the place is Dodongo's Cavern, so can they really be surprised? Uh, oh! Watch out for the rolling dude! As night falls, let's head into the town here. Go ahead, Link, because yeah, time passes in this area as well. But here we are, in Goron City. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We're in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Evolution, huh? Oh, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from Dodongo's Cavern. So yeah, this is a point of criticism that is often wrongfully brought up that the Dodongos are starving, but they eat rocks. Why can't they just eat the mountain around them? These guys have been eating specifically Dodongos Cavern rocks for generations at this point, so that's all they can handle eating now. And so now that it's blocked off, it's, it's killing them all. It's kind of a big deal. Hey, it's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad, it's not here. What? That's not why you're here. Oh, you're looking for a spiritual stone. You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it to one tiny little lick. So I stuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait here for the royal family's messenger. Oh, we are a royal family messenger in a way, aren't we? And the red stone sounds an awful lot like the spiritual stone, just like the Kokiri's emerald we got before that we came here to get. It looks like something used to be set in this stand. Okay, something that's not there anymore. There's a lot of different layers to Goron City here. A lot of it's not too important right now, because we need to get here. Uh, it looks like you're standing on a soft carpet for guests. It feels so plush under your feet. Oh, how nice. Like they said, they're waiting for the royal messenger, so we're going to play... Zelda's Lullaby, once again here, to, to kind of gain access. If Big Brother, as the other Goron called this guy, has the red stone, we better talk with him. Hello? There he is. Howdy there. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Jerunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by a sworn brother of the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face, now. Wow, no one's taking this seriously. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's Cavern. Oh, uh, yep, okay, he's explaining the same situation. This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. All right, well, he is not in the mood to receive any help right now, it seems. Oh, we've got a supply of sticks here, that's good. I'm gonna grab that rupee. Uh, now there is fire inside his little abode here, so I'm gonna use this stick and light some of the torches just outside. Hurry up, Link. Go, go, go. We've got many torches to light, including one right outside here. One, two, there's two more here. Keep going. Bam, got all. 
four or five of them. And we activated this thing here. Link, uh, you were right there. Uh, <laughs> put that away, save the stick. Nice. So something's going on here. Oh, we don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest. What's a forest? Eh? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. Well, we've already found a couple. I don't know about that. I know a trick to conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it away before it completely burns. By the way, I had a stick somewhere. <laughs> Coming along here. Uh, that's different kind of music, isn't it? It's just off in the distance, though. How was Big Brother? I see. By the way, do you know the music coming from deep inside of this tunnel? We all like this music. I like it too. But if we're gonna get there, it's not gonna be easy. So using the sticks on fire here, we can actually light the bomb flowers that are placed all around town. It doesn't do much for us. It's not quite like bombs that you can pick up and throw, but it'll at least break some of the debris in the way. So now we can talk to this guy here. Welcome! So he sells bombs, which we can't use bombs right now because we don't have a bomb bag, as he'll explain here. Or, I guess they're sold out of real ones, interesting. They sell potions, hearts, and also a Goron tunic, made by Gorons. It's adult size, so it's no good for us. But, interesting kind of shop here, isn't it? So I want to carry the fire up to where that music is coming from, and activate the bomb flowers there. Let's be careful, and make sure to preserve our stick if we can. Hurry, Link, hurry, it's just around the corner here. Yes. And, oh. Okay. Why did that have to happen? No. Put the stick away now, put the stick away now. I guess that's so uh, that way we can save the fire there without having to constantly bring a stick all the way over. So that's good. Activate that bomb, put it away. And bingo! We got ourselves a different point we can access here where there's some cool music coming from. Oh, hey, over here, hoo hoo! Jockey, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoot hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh! What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too, hoo hoo hoo! Do you want to hear what I said again? Uh, no thank you, Kibora. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoot hoot! So yeah, we're in the forest. Specifically the Lost Woods. And... As he said, we gotta listen for the music. Do you hear anything here? I don't. But if you go up this way, you can hear the music. And surely enough, there's a way to continue here. Now, uh, I I'm curious, if we go through the wrong way, does it teleport us out back where we came from here by the Goron entrance? I just wanna experiment real quick. Uh, no, okay. It actually sends us back to an area we could have gone before. We're back in the Kokiri Forest, our hometown. This is a crazy shortcut we've just accessed, all the way from the top of Death Mountain, all the way back to our, our hometown here. And this is the other way you could enter the Lost Woods before. We couldn't do much here before because Kipora Kibora didn't give us that hint about the music and how it guides us. The Lost Woods here is interesting, and there, this is where we just entered from in Goron Village. Uh, so we gotta listen for where the music is playing. I love this so much more than any other Lost Woods in any other Zelda game. First of all, there's other things besides the main way you have to go for other secrets, piece of heart, gold skull tools, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So it's not just like you're trying to go one direction, right? But also actually having a way to guide you. In the original Zelda, of course, Lost Woods, you just had to figure out the correct order to go in. Where's the music? I don't hear it there. Uh, I hear it here. Yep, yep, there it is. Uh, I hear it here. Do do do, do do do. We made it to the sacred forest meadow that not many people have been in. Apparently, we gotta fight a wolf. Get out of here, you! One jump attack will deal with those guys. Now we're in this kind of overhead forest maze here, so we gotta find our way through this place. Oh God, these guys are back. Hold on, we got our shield still. We can deflect their shots yet again. Although this one doesn't want to talk or surrender, he just wants to die, I guess. Slice! Alright, I'm just kind of fighting these guys along the way, and wherever I encounter them, I'm gonna imagine that's where I gotta go. So we gotta do a bit of swimming here. Nice. Oh, and you can also see the whole maze on the overhead map there, so you can really get an idea as to where you need to go. As you go up the stairs here, heading towards the peak. We got more of these guys we gotta deal with here. Slice! And... Ow, fuck! Ah. There we go. Bam! Use a slingshot there. Hell yeah. Oh, and they drop slingshot shots. Excellent. 
So coming along this way to the, the peak of the forest meadow here, the sacred forest meadow, I should say, we find this cool Triforce symbol on the ground here, some destroyed bit of temple ruins, and there's Saria, our old childhood friend. She's back. I'm happy to see her again. How's it going, Saria? I've been waiting for you, Chalky. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. But I guess it's kind of inferred from the fact that she's sitting here playing her fairy ocarina, one that's similar to the one she gave us, uh, uh, that she's the one playing the music and then guiding us through the lost woods. I love that. That's awesome. If you play the ocarina here, you could talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay, try to follow along with the melody I play. Are you ready? All right. So we're learning Saria song here, a new song. There we are. Great, great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. Because, yeah, we can talk with the, the spirits of the forest and the sacred meadow, I guess. And, uh, I mean, I guess because she's here, she serves as two-way communication that way. I don't know. We learn Saria's song. Anytime we play that around the world, we can then speak to Saria. So that's nice. A bit of a, a bit of a contact with her. Anything else to say there, Saria, before we leave? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. Oh, okay, yeah. Same basic gist. What's the deal, Navi? We said the spiritual stone is somewhere in Death Mountain. I know, Navi, I know. We understand the concept. And actually, you know what? I bet we can... Oh, uh, we can take a shortcut out of the maze here using the ladder just by the exit here. And I'm pretty sure there's a secret thing somewhere around the way here. Some other secret entrance in this cave right here. Yeah. Let's see what this is all about. Heading down here. <gasps> Fairy Fountain. Which means, yes, just like the previous Link to the Past, we can catch a fairy in a bottle, and that way keep it in case we die as a way to revive. Do that Link right there. In Link to the Past, there was a net item, which you would then use the net to put them in the bottle. But in this game, you just use the bottle. It's a lot more streamlined that way. It makes more sense, honestly. So yeah, we can either use this as health, or if we save it in our inventory like so, it can revive us instantly if we happen to die. I don't think I will anytime soon. I'm, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Knock on wood. I don't have any wood nearby, but... Uh, you get the idea. But yeah, I like that we have a shortcut back out of here. So we can just hop on by like so. Alright, and then of course we have the shortcut back to the Goron City. So it's a way of connecting things like that. Oh, hey again, Kepora. Woohoo! Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. We've learned a few already. If you hold the ocarina with C, where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I get the idea. Kepora, Gebora. Melodies you have learned will be recorded. Yeah, on the quest screen, we've seen. Why does everyone complain about Navi? Navi is entirely optional dialogue, if only if you hit up on the D-pad. Gepora Gebora actually actively interrupts you. I mean, granted, he only appears kind of early game here, and then he kind of goes away for most everything. He also has a couple of other uses I haven't gotten into yet, but but still, he's a lot more intrusive than Navi ever is in this, in this whole game. Before we go back to Goron Village here, I want to go this way. Yeah, this way. Look at this, we got a guy with a flute here. Hello there. Oh. Where'd he go? Hold on, let's make him respawn. All right, there he is. Don't get too close. Let's go up on this stump here nearby. Hello. Oh. oh, he's looking at us. Navi, what do you have to say? Skull Kid, is this what happens to kids who get lost in the forest? He might be our friend if we do something. Okay, I think I had Skull Kid wrong on those guys in the overworld. Maybe there's something else. Yeah, it's kind of dark that if, if Kokiri get lost in the forest, they end up like this. But he seems to be waiting for something. If you pull out the ocarina, musical staff shows up and we can play. Sure enough, sorry, a song. Uh... What was Saria's song again? Hold on, let me look at my notes. I learned four songs at this point already. Uh, down, right, left. Okay. There we are. Hey, it's such a good melody. You gotta love it. You know Saria's song. We should be friends. Here, take this. Hey, we got a piece of heart. Thank you, Skulka. That's nice. I'm sure this is a sign of a sort of a great friendship. Do you think my face is kind of plain? It's not very unusual. Uh, I think your face is fine, my friend. No need for a mask. Let's head back to Goron City. Uh, all that we did out here, though, was learn Saria's song. How is that going to help us, per se? Well, I don't remember what Goron around here is, and I'm, I've been 
dawdling around here and there with all the dialogue and everything. Some Gorn around here, and I remember this much, tells you that the, the big brother, Darunia, loves music, and then he, he gets down to some funky beats. So what do you know? The reason we had to do all that was to play Saria a song for him, and you could tell that it's, we need to play some music because of the musical staff coming up here. So there we are. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But its intended purpose is just to communicate with Saria, but in the last couple instances, it's just used because people love that music so much. I mean, it's good. It's very good. Oh! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! What a hot beat! Whoa! Yeah! He's getting down. Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly want to dance like crazy. I'm Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too. A spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on. I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, uh, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I'll give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. Yeah, so this way, instead of having to run up to them with torches and burn them up, we can actually pick up the bomb flowers and throw them like they were typical Zelda bombs. And So that'll actually help us access Dodongo's cavern there. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get going. So yeah, heading straight out of the city. I forgot it's nighttime, to be honest. Well, let's use the bomb flower we got here. Uh, that's intended to be used like this. Hello there, my friend. I'm standing here to shade the bomb flowers from the sun. Do you have a question for me? Uh, sure. What's the deal with the Dodongo's Cavern there? Did you see the cavern on your way here? That's the Dodongo's Cavern. Because the light inside is very dim, the bomb flowers, a plant unique to this mountain, grow like crazy in there. Alright, so yeah, that seems they work well under harsh shade. We can actually throw the bomb flower down here. And, um... Oh, I just wrote the sign too! Whoops. Well, there we go. We now have access to the inside of Dongo's Cavern. Why Why could no one else do that before? You, you Come on, you guys. That was not that challenging, honestly. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, okay. Holding forward helped out there. Well, now we can go to Dongo's Cavern, and, and this is where we can begin the proper second dungeon of the game. You can tell kind of by the, uh, the fact that the map is gone now. Get that wall out of the way. Because as soon as we do, we get our intro cutscene to this place here. Look at that. Dodongo's Cavern. We've got a very ominous, atmospheric tune to this place. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Sounds good now, but yeah. we got to go to the center area, though, so... Yeah, we do got to watch our step to access either of the sides, because there's no other way. At least from here. Hurry, Link. Go, go, go. Alright, we got a bomb flower here. Uh, let's see. Watch out for that guy. Throw it over here. I don't remember this dungeon all that well, I'm gonna be honest. Here we are. I mean, it's just kind of working as you go, using bomb flowers as you go, that sort of thing. We wanna watch out for some enemies popping out of the ground here. These guys also, shortly after the kill, do explode. So keep your distance. Getting some of our money back now after we've wasted it all on the shield we aren't using. Which some of you may wonder about that, like, why don't we pick up that Hyrule shield if we're not using it? Uh, it'll come up later, don't worry about it. Can I get you to come over here to blow up this wall, pretty please? Right over here. There we go. Excellent. Look at that. And what do we got through this door here? Well, we've got a torch and some bats. Oh, this is for a gold sculpture. Okay. That yeah, makes sense. I'm cool with that. I don't think I ever explained with the, uh, the slingshot. If you're targeting something actively with the slingshot, you don't shoot in first person mode. You shoot in third person, which is actually super useful because Link just auto targets in that case. So that way you don't have to worry about missing practically but all right that was just for a gold sculpture light that kind of makes sense it was off the beaten path but i'll take what i can get i mean we know what those are for now we got a button here although this is as indicated by being blue one of those buttons where you have to stay stood on it for it to stay active so we're actually going to use these statues here to hold the button down come on right there perfect all right so that gets opened for us now i honestly don't remember if this is the correct way to go at first i might miss a couple things in some of these dungeons but it's not massively important, I don't think. 
See, shooting while targeting them in third person mode, it's a lot easier than trying to aim at each individual enemy by a long shot. That works in a lot of cases where you want to target something and, uh-oh, we've got Lazad foes, which is kind of our first mini-boss of the game here. These guys are jumping around in an arena. Get back, you. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh, <laughs> got the jump attack. It didn't work. Lock. Stay on the defense. There's two of them, so I gotta keep my eyes out for whichever one might be coming around. Slice! Ah! You got me in the back. Block! Bam! Alright, got one of them. Nice. There's another one. Lazadfos, of course, were one of the tougher enemies in, in Zelda 2. So it makes sense that they're kind of a mini-boss here. Ah! Oh god, he went over my shield there. The, I suppose I should point this out, and I could have used it in that fight for this very reason. The Hylian shield, because it's intended for an adult, it actually just blocks our top. We don't block in front of us. So it's no good at deflecting the shots of Deku Scrubs, but it is good at blocking those kind of overhead swipes that the Lazadfos there were doing. And which way did I come from again? One of these doors is the way to go. One of them is the way I came from. I'll figure it out very quickly as soon as I go in. Uh, this is the way to go. This is not where I came from. All right. Now, the reason I don't want to walk around with the Hylian shield equipped is because these guys, or at least one of the enemies here, I don't remember if it is these guys or it's someone. I'm pretty sure one of the enemies here, and it might be this guy, can eat our Hylian shield. So I don't want that to happen to our shield because it costs 80 rupees, and I don't want to pay that again, even though we're close to being able to pay that off. Oh, hello there. Do you want to do your fire breath attack to activate this torch for me, my friend? I don't think that did it. <laughs> I think I have to get fire from that stick over here. Watch out for his explosion. We do have a limit of our, our, our rupee size of just 99 rupees total. There we go. I have a little torch there. Uh, oh, actually, it looks like there's a few around here. Let's try to light them all. And one. And two. Perfect. Got all three. That gets the door open. Nice. I'm going to get out of this guy's way before he kills us there. I should put this torch away. Hurry, Link. There we go. All right. All that's to connect back to the main room where now... We can open that door that was sealed. So I did go on the right side first. Okay. You do want to go on the right, then we can go on the left over here where this door opens up. There is something else over here on the left though as well. I suppose I can check it out. It's just some bomb wall stuff in our way. They've got bomb flowers around here. Like the Goron outside said, they grow in abundance here in the cave. Kind of reminds you of glowberries in Minecraft, doesn't it? All right. So breaking that open. I think this chest might be like the map or the compass or something. It's not the dungeon item for sure, but it is important. Let's see. Oh, it's the map. Okay. I'll take the map. Um, is there anything else beyond this? By the way, these guys with the eyeballs here, kind of similar to the enemies from Link to the Past. Oh, God. One of these guys. Um, they're only defeatable from the bomb flowers that we can reflect back at them. How's it going? I give up. If you let me go, I'll sell you a Deku shield. It's 50 rupees. I already have a shield right now. No way. See, there are randomly some Deku scrubs, some really tall ones around who can... Uh, if you defeat them, sell you random things. And I do mean random things. They give you the oddest deals, like selling you sticks or, or nuts. Or in that case, a shield, again. Oh, look at this. We got bomb flowers lining the way. There is a small gap in the center, though. So you know what? Uh, Link, drop this right here and get out of the way. Now that's what I call a satisfying puzzle. I love that. By the way, did you notice earlier, since we connected back to the main room, if we die, and I mentioned this in, in the previous dungeon, how I love this mechanic in Ocarina of Time, they do a better job interconnecting all the rooms so that if you happen to die and restart at the beginning of the dungeon, you can get back to where you were at pretty damn quickly. Also, we got an extra room back here. Might as well check out what the deal is here. Uh-oh. We're sealed in with some statues. Um, oh, uh-oh. The statue came to life and is trying to kill me. Uh, Navi, what can you tell me about this? Armos, stop its movement, then destroy it. Uh, I'm having a hard time stopping its movement. Can we do nuts? Are they weak to nuts, per se? They're weak to nuts. Okay. Get in the back. Bam. As soon as we do that, they go on a rampage where they're spinning around and get ready to explode. And that's the Armos for you. Interesting kind of enemy, but they're blocking off this here. I believe this might be the compass, because, again, I'm pretty sure it's not the dungeon item. Not yet. Yeah, this is the compass. Okay. Oh, I hear some crawling around. There's a gold sculpture somewhere nearby. Uh, ooh! Well, I just maxed out my rupees. All right. Uh, oh, there's a gold sculpture up there. I see it. Oh, no, these aren't gold sculptures. Y'all are just regular fucking sculptures. Or no! That one's gold. Okay. Well. We'll get you both, I guess, and climb up here to get that. 
How many are we at now? Like seven? Still got a few to go before we can actually uh, redeem any of the rewards from those guys, but they're definitely worth going after at some point. And we're sealed in here. These keys are on fire, which can burn your Deku shield, so be very careful blocking. Oh no, my shield, no! Oh, I had that coming. I really should have just equipped the other shield. Whoops. All right, the whole puzzle here is that we gotta move this Armos out of the way, which is a real statue, not an Armos, I guess. Just to get the ladder and hit this button. My shield! Well, I might as well equip the Hylian shield now if our Deku shield's gone. Maybe I should buy another one from that guy if we end up back at the entrance. We'll see. Actually, we're back at the entrance now. We're just in the upper floor. Hey, get back. I also, I can use a slingshot against those guys. That helps a lot. And getting the extra ammo we did before with the uh, larger bag. That's nice, too. Jump across here, Link. Okay, so now we have... This is kind of a maze-like room here. Tons of chests, not all of which are necessary. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. Use Z-targeting to always look in the proper direction. This is a useful technique, isn't it? Yeah, she's talking about checking those corners, pretty much. There you go. Oh, pff. I didn't check those corners good enough. We got a little chest. Might as well check it out. This is just a little chest. It's not much. Uh, oh, the money I didn't need. Okay. All right, get ready for this to blow. And throw it. Shit, I was late. Okay. <laughs> We gotta get to blow up that wall. Can I just get it to land up there perfectly? That'd be nice. Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. We gotta wait for that explosion. Can't be too early. Can't be too late. Otherwise, we just blow ourselves up. This would be scary in real life, because there's no health bar in real life like that. Oh! Uh, that works for me. Ooh, alright. Another puzzle in here. We've seen a puzzle like this before. We had one in the first dungeon after we got that slingshot. Very nice. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> ah! Coming along here. Uh oh. It's another arena with Lazadfos. Get out of here. Nice. Got that block. You're no match. Oh. <laughs> he knows. He's running away. Can I use slingshot on them? I, I, I'm pretty sure I can't. Yeah. Oh shit. This guy's coming up close. Can I use this? Oh, I sure can. Get the jump attack now. Oh, beautiful. Ah. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Uh. Slice! Okay, they're both pretty hurt at this point. And there are hearts over there at the other side of the arena if I can sneak past him. Oh! Huh. Protect yourself, Link. Bam! Jump attack! Let's go! Alright. One of them's dealt with. That guy's over there. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! I got the... Huh! Huh! I got that quick stabbing. Bam! Oh, my goodness. Okay. I need this health over here. And I need it bad. And actually, I love this detail. You can see underneath us the first arena where we fought the Lazad foes. I kind of like that they're layered on top of each other. And even the lava pouring from up here is going down there. That's such a cool detail that connects the dungeon like that. These dungeons are some of my favorites in the Zelda series, I gotta say. Alright, we got one of these here. Once again, we gotta shoot this guy. Although there's another fire ahead. So... Voila! Thank you, Navi. I'm telling you, just doing puzzles in this game is satisfying. I, I like it a lot. And Okay, we're on the other side of this room now, but we can go up here. What do we got up here? There's a big chest right here. Might as well see what it's about. Is this the dungeon item? I believe it is. Yes, we got the bomb bag. So now we no longer need the gauntlet in order to carry the bomb flowers. We got bombs portably. We can carry 20 of them in this thing, too. That's pretty damn... Uh, uh, ridiculous, if you ask me. It just looks like bombs on the menu, but you get the idea. Bombs, of course, are turning from the first Zelda, their classic item. And now, look at that! Hitting that button created a shortcut where this pillar now goes all the way up here to the top floor, and then all the way back down to the first floor, so we can connect the two. That's so awesome, I'm telling you. Also, if you remember my Super Mario 64 Let's Play, this texture they used for the sign is the same one they used for the fountain in the back of Peach's Castle, which is the one people theorize to say L is real and then some numbers there, like 2401. So this kind of fed into that conspiracy gaming mystery, right? Of, of is L real? What is L? Is L Luigi, right? Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. Let's, uh, let's go across this bridge here. And that sign is kind of telling us the puzzle here where there's the giant Dodongo statue that we've had since we entered the dungeon, we've seen it. We gotta drop bombs into its eyes. 
Just like so. When it sees red, you know? When it sees fire. Oh shit! Uh! Uh! Get out of there, Link. Alright, that works. So in getting those bombs to blow that open, it opens up and this is the way to go, which is like right in front of where we started the dungeon. Also, we can kill these guys pretty easy now with regular old bombs. Look at that. Bam. And we also get bombs out of it. I'm gonna buy a new Deku shield from that guy if he's still there. Wait a minute. How am I gonna buy a Deku shield from the guy if I can't reflect his shot back at him? Never mind, I had an inherent flaw in my logic. Well... I'll be. Let's just carry on, I suppose. There's a hole right here. Uh, hey! Get back, you. Slice. Let's go around here in this kind of dark area. Are there gonna be more lizard guys popping up out of the ground here? Well, maybe not. Oh, we got more of these blocks. We can push. Hey! Okay, we got one of them. Slingshot! Bam! Sniped! Alright, so this is all well and good for getting up here. But what I want to do, actually, is push this. And, uh, oh, no, 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 don't pull Link now. We gotta push. So I want to go here. And let's use a bomb. Let's open this area up. See what this is all about. We got a door here. Oh, this is for a gold sculpture, and we gotta fight this guy, I bet. Let's just do that. The bombs are super, super effective against these Armos guys. Uh, like so. And then having the shield is nice, because that just... Negates everything he's trying to do there. Well, nice, we got another gold sculpture token. By the way, there was one loose end now that we can. Oh, well, that's in the way now. There was a loose end we could go back and tie up hypothetically between parts. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do it. But basically, there was another gold sculpture in the Great Deku Tree in the first dungeon. We couldn't access it because we didn't have bombs because there was a bombable wall in the way. Maybe I'll flash back to part two or whatever that was when we encountered that. Puzzle time. I'm gonna burn this way forward. And all that's to get here, we can't seem to do anything with this wall. That will come later, don't worry about that. Oh, we got a fairy in the pot here. In case you didn't get one before, you can throw one in a, in a bottle now. Assuming you have a bottle. So we go all around this way so that we can push this block down here. Because right here we have this kind of, um, uh, uh, the sensitive button where something's always gotta be on top of it. So of course that means we need this block. Hey, how did that guy hit me through the shield? What the fuck? Get sniped. So yeah, it was a gold sculpture in the first dungeon, which we can access now that we have bombs. Maybe I'll do that off screen, because we're getting kind of close to being able to do our first gold sculpture thing. Maybe I'll get a few off screen, because I know there was also some on Lon Lon Ranch that only appear at night, like on the other side of the of the, the horse pen. So that's one where I didn't want to get in the moment, because they would just be waiting around at night for a gold sculpture to appear. And I think there's a couple others. Um, but I might want to get them now. I don't, I don't know. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, we got more bombs, just in case you need them, because if you can't tell... Well... Yeah. <laughs> but that's not all, because it's time for us to face the boss of the dungeon. As we enter this lower area here. I like the visual of him having the gauntlet on, by the way, even though we aren't using it. Because we got... The Big Dodongo. Hi! Uh... Look at that puppet mouth. Infernal dinosaur, King Dodongo. So King Dodongo here, as Navi might explain for me. A huge Dodongo that eats anything. Give it a shock and finish it off with your sword. Yeah, so we gotta use bombs, our dungeon item. Uh, throw them in the mouth, just like classic Dodongos. I love that they include that kind of, uh, oh god. Protect yourself, Link. He's rolling. But I love that they use that classic enemy archetype of Dodongos and reinvent it here in 3D in a more dynamic fashion. Oh shit, get the bomb in there. There we go. I'm gonna do a stick jump attack. Ugh. Protect yourself. Ugh. Of course, we don't want to go through the middle. That's all on fire. And in case you run out of bombs, I'm glad they think of this. In case you run out of bombs, there are bomb flowers around the corners here you can always use. Oh, that was way too early. There we go. Use another stick one. Hit. Yeah. And just like that, King Dodongo is dead. I'm telling you, the stick jump attack is broken. Oh, he's rolling around. You are right there, my friend? Ooh, into the lava. He doesn't sound quite all right there. He sounds like he's being... His voice is being warbled by, like, a meme. I realize this predates a lot of meme culture in most uh, senses of the word, but... You, you understand the reference? A heart container, nice, okay. So our maximum health is now five. And we can exit out of the dungeon here. I like just his smoky corpse just left behind in the bits of, of, of lava there. I guess it's not lava anymore, now it's solidified into rock. But we did it. We liberated Dongo's Cavern. 
Oh. It's only Darunia just falls from the sky. Where the hell did you come from? It's me, Darunia. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dongo's Cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Sorry, I already got a soul lock, brother. No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just like this is a token of our friendship. So sure enough, for beating the second dungeon, we get the next spiritual stone. The ruby here. Look at that. Nice. Man, that is small compared to the Gorons. It's kind of fit for our size, isn't it? But I guess if you eat rocks, it does look delicious. In that kind of view. I don't know, it seems weird to me still. <laughs> you claim this Goron's ruby. It's a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. Alright. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. <laughs> I like that internal dialogue from Link. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Uh. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Hey. Oh, no. Run, Link. Run, boy. <laughs>